to support Israel. And finally, I'd like to, in the little time that I've left over, to talk about Psalm verse eight, 2 verse 8. God told his son, ask of me, I give you the nations for your inheritance. Do you know why and how we can have inheritance? As believers, you will have no inheritance, but as sons, as sons of God and daughters of God, you have inheritance, nothing less but your nations. I begin to understand this and I begin to ask Singapore as my inheritance. Amen. And Jesus told us when he died on the cross, we call him master and we are his servant. But in John 15, 15, he began to say, I no longer call you servants. For a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all things that I heard from my father, I have made known to you. So from servanthood, we progress to a friend of God. But most importantly, we become sons and daughters of the mighty God. So in 2 Corinthians 6, 18, God says, I will be a father to you. And you shall be my sons and daughters, say the Lord Almighty. This is the only verse in the Bible that the women folk loves a lot. Because this is the only Bible verse that says sons and daughters. Of course, we know in the Bible when we talk about sons, it's including our lovely ladies, our daughters of the mighty God. But in this particular verse, it specially, specially states sons and daughters of the almighty God. So we are sons and daughters, and because of that, we would have inheritance. And how do we able to have inheritance of the nation? Jesus, in his great commission, told us, go and make disciples of the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, how do we disciple nations? We disciple nations by discipling one another, by fathering spiritual sons and daughters into the way of the Lord and then minister to many. It's a great reminder when God chose Abraham in Genesis 18, 19. He says, I have known him. God said, I've known Abraham in order that he may command his children and his household after him that they may keep the way of the Lord and do righteousness and justice that the Lord may bring Abraham what he has spoken to him. God says, I know Abraham. I know that he will pass down my understanding of what is just, what is righteous, down to his children and to his children's children. And because of that, Abraham birthing spiritual sons and daughters, that he will be called the father of nations. So I want to ask every one of us here, it is so important to birth spiritual sons and daughters, so very important to disciple the few to pass down God's righteousness and the way of justice into the next generation. And all we need is just one generation to transform the cultures of your nations and my nations. And the very reason why Singapore, after 50 years of independence, have become third world to first world country is nothing because but of righteousness. And righteousness exalts the nations. So I want to implore every one of us here Bring up spiritual sons and daughters. Pass the message of righteousness and justice into your nations. And according to Proverbs 14, 34, he says, righteousness exhort nations. Amen. With this, I'd like to thank everyone for your attendance, for your attention. And thank you again once more. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.